I'd like to talk with my police officer friends about taking the L. Now, some of you aren't married, so some of you don't know about this, but uh, let me school you real quick. I'm a loving, faithful husband to a wonderful, trusting wife. And, um, you know, we got we got a couple friends. We have friends that we, we like both couples. And I hang out with the guy separate, and um, she hangs out with the woman separate. And uh, we hang out all together. At one point, one of the guys of those couples that we hang out with cheated on his wife. And, of course, my wife was one of the first ones to find out about it. And it turns out he was using me as an excuse that he was with me now is it fair that my wife would think that that means that then she should keep more track of me is it fair that she she thinks um that she began saying no you gotta check in more and all that no it's not fair i had nothing to do with that asshole cheating on his wife however once he did cheat on his wife I had to take the L and that's what this is about you got to take the L what does that mean well I had to check in and I had to call in for some time of course it died off because I am trusting and she stopped worrying about it but for a while look I had to take the L and that's what you got to do guys police officers law enforcement you got to take the L I get it I I've been in those courtrooms you walk in the courtroom, you got your nice uniform on, it's beautiful. You're considered a hero, as many of you are. And that's nice, and I think you should have, if it were my, if, if I were in charge, if I had my druthers, you would still enjoy that. But I'm not in charge, and I don't get my druthers. And that means that because of the actions of just a few bad officers, you gotta take the L. You're, you're not gonna be given um such leeway okay and what do i mean by that well here's the thing it's it's nothing new to anybody else okay i'm sorry this is a privilege you had and i know privilege triggered oh geez conservatives triggered i said privilege no it for real if i'm a i'm a citizen who believes in my right to defend myself and to defend my property if someone is breaking into my car and let's even say i have a gun in that car and i catch someone breaking into the, my car on my property let's say right next to my garage i have the right to try to apprehend them and if they try to tase me let's say say they brought a taser and they try to tase me i have a right to kill them do you understand what i'm saying but once i kill that person i am immediately worried and concerned about how it is going to go down from here on out about how it's going to look to citizens about how it's going to look to the police showing up about how it's going to look to um if, if video get, of it gets out on social media how it's going to look to the public i have to worry about what my killing even rightfully so that person is going to entail and most importantly i have to worry about getting charges pressed against me and about going in front of a jury and ending up in prison because somebody is dead and they died at my hands and I am worried about whether or not I am going to be found criminally responsible for that now I get it you have not you've had the the ability I'm not saying you don't but you've had the ability not to really worry about that and that's the only thing these movements are really in the end taking away because if you get in front of that jury and it's a good shoot what you did was right then they are going to exonerate you they don't hate you juries don't hate you citizens don't hate you they're just taking away that protection that you had that automatic benefit of the doubt that you had and you got to take that l i'm sorry i wish that all of you could be heroes and that we could have every cop stepping into that courtroom every cop explaining to investigators what's going on to be able to hold them to high regard and therefore high esteem and to give them the benefit of the doubt however i'm sorry the public in general or at least the public that matters is saying that that is no longer the case 
and you just got to take the L. They're not saying you can't do your job. If worrying about killing someone makes it your makes you less effective at doing your job, then you probably shouldn't be doing that job. If worrying about what it looks like when you shoot someone in the back is a problem, then you're in the wrong job because it's a problem for everybody else. That's a privilege for it not to be a problem. That's a privilege for you to be able to put your hands in your pockets while you're killing somebody. Nobody else can do that and not worry about the consequences. And guess what? I'm sorry. Now you can't either. So just suck it up and take the L. Why do I, why am I bringing this up while playing this video behind me? Well, this is Rayshard Brooks, um, body cam and surveillance cam put together. Um, and I'm playing this. Why am I playing this? I'm playing this because the police officers shot Mr. Brooks in the back. Now that's not all. He resisted arrest, a rightful arrest. He stole their taser. He ran, he reached back and he pointed at that taser at a police officer, he could have decapacitated him. He could have um, uh, 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 taken his gun and killed him. Now there's another police officer there. So it's not an easy uh, examination. It's not an outright thing. I don't think it's a, well, the cop did perfectly right because he could have gotten tased and if the suspect kept running then the other police officer could have kept chasing him and if the suspect came back then the police officer um and to get the police officer's gun then the police officer the other police officer could have shot him dead and no then we're for sure if mr brooks is going after the police officer gun again it's no problem there's no outrage. I promise you, we as citizens, and I speak for the majority of all citizens, not those at the fringes, just a majority of all citizens, that if he was going for your gun, you can shoot him. If he was going for another cop's gun, you could shoot him. If he had a gun, you can shoot him. However, what happened was Mr. Brooks fired over his shoulder and then got shot in the back as he ran away after he had ineffectively deployed the taser. So what should we do? I'm not going to pass judgment. Okay. I can make my own judgment as a citizen, but I think 12 duly appointed, sorry, duly selected citizens with this police officer's ability to eliminate people he thinks have, have bias. Maybe I have bias. He had 12 citizens should decide that, but that's not the narrative. That's not what police want. Every police officer I've seen wants this police officer to be completely exonerated, wants for us to be able to look at this video and say, good shoot. Just like every anti-cop, um, uh, 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 liberal um, uh, anarchist wants to look at this video and say, no, let's prosecute it for murder. No, this video should be presented. It should be investigated and 12 citizens of this location should be able to decide whether it was a good shoot or not. Now that seems obvious, but I promise you that's not what would have happened if this was a citizen. Now that seems complete. Yeah, of course, but that's not what would have happened had this current protests had the current social media outrage been involved it would have been just case closed this police officer gets the benefit of the doubt he's losing that y'all are losing that i'm sorry i'm sorry if it affects your job i hope it doesn't affect your job to where you can't do it anymore but i think that if it does you're probably not the hero we want in this particular job this is a good question of whether this officer really reasonably, a reasonable person would have thought they were in danger. And now this cop is going to have to face the same insurities, the same legal system that any citizen in the same situation would face. He doesn't get carte blanche because he's a police officer. You got to take that L. That's it. Just take the L, police officers. 
We appreciate you. And when you take the L, you will find that you, those bad cops will start disappearing. And you, the good cops, will be empowered to be the wonderful heroes that you are. For which I thank you. Have a good one, guys.